sport. There's been this global conversation about uh, the disparity in pay for men and women. And uh, recently at the Women's World Cup, it was also um, a huge subject and topic, especially with FIFA coming to say they would want to pay um, the teams directly uh, from their own coffers. Uh, the Super Falcons are the center of all of this. Uh, they've told the NFF to get to pay them their monies. They've been owed uh, for several months and, I mean, years now. Um, how would you get involved in all of this? Would you want to ensure that those girls get their monies as soon as possible? Well, I mean, if I got to, I mean, what I can say very immediately is that there is no aspect of discrimination that should ever be tolerated. I mean, gender discrimination, you know, whatever. I mean, it shouldn't be discrimination. I mean, okay, you talk about female football. Certain times when you watch, you know, females play, you would begin to imagine whether these are actually females. And that's because of the level of development of the game. And I think, therefore, that not just in female football, but in any of the sports whatsoever, there shouldn't be discrimination. I'm going to lead the charge on that. All right. I, I, I want to believe that the Honorable Minister of Sport has been following up with developments at the World Athletics Championships in Budapest, Hungary. Tobia Musan will be in action later this evening in the 100 meters um, semifinals, in the 100 meters huddle semifinals. As she seems to be the only medal hopeful for Nigeria at the World Championships. If she gets to get, I mean, gets to pick a medal and uh, perhaps one or two other athletes get to shine, what sort of reception will they be getting um, under your administration? Well, two things. One, I mean, immediately I was, you know, sworn in as sports development minister. I issued my first release, you know, you know, to the, our athletes that are in far away Budapest, Hungary, you know, letting them to know that the whole country is with them and that, you know, urging them to remain committed you know, that, you know, in the first instance, it may be their own personal accomplishments, but that there's nothing else that unites us as much as what they're doing in Budapest. The second is that, you know, you know, for any medal, for any victory that we record, I mean, the Ministry of, you know, Sports Development under my leadership will always be ready and available for a red carpet reception as soon as they come back home. Okay, Honorable Minister, before I let you go, um, I asked you this earlier, but let me just uh, bring this uh, to the front one again. The Super Falcons of Nigeria, unarguably the most successful uh, female football team in Africa. They were as good as the finals of the World Cup uh, because they narrowly lost via penalties against England, who played at the finals of the last World Cup. Will the Falcons get paid? And has, how soon will that happen? Well, well, well I, I think that before my appointment as Minister of Sports Development, you know, the First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria has actually, you know, formally received the Madonna reception for them. And I think that um, if there are any outstandings that need to be sorted out, they will be sorted out. Because like you said, they are our, you know, most prolific team in Africa. I mean, I watched their match keenly. And I'm one of those who said, I mean, if we overcame England, I believe that by today we'll have become the world champions. All right. Uh, um, Honorable uh, John Eno, uh, Minister of uh, Sports. Uh, this is actually your first, your first live interview on any Nigerian television. And I want to appreciate you uh, for giving, your, I mean, giving us your time um, on this program today. Thank you so much for sharing your time with us, uh, Honorable Minister of Sports. Thank you. Thank you.